The door was already open. I'm finna throw up. I'm finna throw up. I'm finna throw up. Perfect. It's still spooky season 2022. Um, we're playing something called A Man in the Attic. I have no idea what there's... I don't know. I don't know. It's A Man in the Attic. I, we're just going to play it. We're just going to start it. We're just going to start it. <sighs> we're just going to start it. We're just going to do it. Like <laughs> We're just going to do it. There's no reason to be scared. There's no music to this. There's no sound. Oh, I hear outdoor sound now, though. Can y'all hear outdoor sound? Hold up. I regret turning it up, but here we go. Y'all might be able to hear it. I don't know. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time. And when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. He, he, he is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple times. I am an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Okay, so... You thought you seen somebody. You was just having a bad dream. The way this game came up so dark... Let me get the lights. Let me get the lights. Ooh, it's got game sounds. Let's get the lights. Spooky season. We gotta get it spooky in here. Find phone. Oh, can I not? Oh, I have to click and then. Okay. I was like, why can I not look around? I just have to like click to start it. Okay. You are walking so slow, my guy. Ooh. I mean, it sound like it's in here. You ain't got no other. Find phone. Okay. It's upstairs up there. I like, it's upstairs up there. Why would your phone be up there, though? Ooh. I don't use the, I don't need to use the bathroom now. I'm assuming your phone downstairs. I'm not going upstairs. Clearly you think it's a man in the attic, so why would I? Can we leave? And it's raining. I don't want to see nothing. Okay, your phone is down here. This is a nice house, though. The layout is very, like, you know, this a real house. This model that for somebody real house. Some in-game models, like, their houses be like, who house is this, you know? This look like a real house. I'm scared to check the phone. I low-key want to walk around and get the layout. We can't move no faster than this. Are you sure? Why your footsteps? He heel toeing, heel toeing, heel toeing, and like, it's making a lot of extra unnecessary sound. Boiler room. I don't need to go down there. Oh, so you got a basement and an attic. Kitchen. Okay, it's just an empty space. Your dining room set is supposed to go right here. His dining room set is supposed to go right here. But this look good, too. This look good, too. I'm so scared, and I hate the way this man walks. Considering I can't run, I'm going to assume I just can't. <sighs> hey, brother, I just wanted to let you know that we've arrived home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are and their imagination. She's probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Lily seen somebody in his house, huh? His house is very clean considering he just had company. Nothing's gonna happen. It's so quiet. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. Clean up what? Clean up dining table. Was that even there before them plates? Okay. Today my brother came to visit 
and he brought his family along, his wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically she is my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them, so we spent about a half hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. Am I hearing shit? After a while, I noticed Lily wasn't really uninterested. I don't blame her, after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am pretty, I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels and left her there to watch some TV away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay. So you have to, like, click before you can move again. And it's, like, really unsettling. Because I'm wanting to, like, move fast. Because I just want to get through this. Oh. I was supposed to play two games tonight. But this is scaring the shit out of me. Your house is already really clean. These plates, ain't nobody ate. Ain't nobody ate on these plates. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably getting tired, and soon after they left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Okay, see, when when stories and movies do this, where a kid's like, I seen something, and then the adults are like, you're just a child. I, 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 that would scare the fuck out of me. If, if somebody came to my house and said, man, I seen, I've seen somebody in your house, I would be leaving with them. All right, we all finna go to your house tonight then, because ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm scared. I need music in these games. These little horror games ain't got no background sound except rain. And it's raining outside for real. Because it's hurricane season 2022. Damn. Why is it not continuing? Continue. Okay. Well, what you want me to do now? I done did the dishes. Not ain't finna scare me, for real, ain't they? Okay, okay. Time to get some sleep. Okay. Why is you walking so fucking slow, bro? Grab this for 911. Grab this for 911. I get it. They wanted to use this really nice model, and they couldn't really do too much interactive stuff. I get it. I get it. The way my... The way my chest... I can't even look at the screen. I can't even look at the screen. Your house is immaculate, though. I'm not gonna look... <sighs> According to the Lily story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Oh! These noises, they are coming from the attic. I don't have no water to drink. I don't have no water to drink. I don't have the water to drink. I have to go to the kitchen to get some water. I can't sit here and play this. Now, I'm going to be honest. Like, if we heard noises in our attic, we would probably investigate. Like, with a gun. With a whole pow, pow, pew, pew. We would, like, we would probably investigate. And it's crazy because, like, we've had, we've had weird stuff happen around our house. And, like... I don't freeze up the way I freeze in these games. Maybe it's because I feel helpless. Like, I have no control over the situation. I mean, I'm playing as the character. Why is this scary? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Why is this scaring me? I would probably investigate. I would call someone first, though. I wouldn't just investigate. I'd be like, oh my god, I heard something in the edit. Lily was right. Please send help. Like, I would send something. I wouldn't investigate by myself. I wouldn't investigate by myself. I wouldn't investigate by myself. I would probably go sit in my car with the doors locked. 
I would probably drive to like a Walmart parking lot and that's not even safer. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm rambling. They really want me to go search the attic? Fuck. Wasn't that light on up there? Okay, it's on. Okay. Okay, Chrissy. Come on, spooky season. Okay, come on, Chrissy. Spooky season. Ooh, we gotta do this for the spooky season. I don't remember leaving the door was already open. I'm from the throw up. I'm from the throw up. I'm from the throw up. I had a really big burrito for dinner. It ain't sitting right. Why your attic look like this? I gotta move the mouse. Your attic kinda nice, sir. That's just wall over there. Ain't nothing over there. I'm supposed to go over there. It's dark as fuck in your attic. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, God. This dude, we... What's with, what is with that picture on the ground? Did they close the door? What is that sound? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do what you gonna do so the game can cut off. Okay, we done. I ain't seen nothing. We finna go back to bed. This is stupid. There's nothing up here. Oh. 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 Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. Go back to bed. About to cry. I'm about to cry. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything. And you question it once more. Right? Why are we not laying in the bed? Is the man in the attic real? What is this? What are we doing? That ain't me. What are we doing? What? Well, I, I can't change it. That's, oh, fuck. I can't hide my face. Is the man in the end real? I, 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 I swear to God, I'm gonna cut this off. Okay. Is the man in the end real? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that look like a dog. Okay. Who oh, ain't no jump scare? Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic, or the man in the basements, or perhaps the man under your bed. Oh, my baby crying loud like that. Okay. Okay. I'm clicking, ain't nothing happen. Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Whoo! We made it, y'all. We made it. We cut the lights on. Do I have a specific fear? Um, similar to the man in the attic. When I was younger, I had a lot of irrational fears. I had a fear of water beds. Um, my mom threw me in the middle of a waterbed and I thought I could drown. And so that stands out. That's not really like man in the attic type fear. Um, she also pretended that there was something up under the bed that had her by the leg and was pulling her. And I tried to save her. Well, all my my I tried to save her. So that was a bit of a fear for a while, like something being up under the bed. But then when she started laughing about it, then I was like, oh, it's like that. Okay. Irrational fear. I mean, deer. I will not elaborate. Just deer. Uh, if you enjoyed this playthrough, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And as always, um, thank you for stopping by. Bye, 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 bye. Perfect. Perfect.